Hey guys, it's Buddha Fair, and welcome back to NASCAR Game 2013 Challenges, Highlights, Part 16. This is kind of, I mean, this should be the penultimate part because we only have four more challenges left, and we got two of these to do in this episode. But hey, lately the tracker has been pretty bad, and one, one event turns into like a whole video sometimes, so who really knows anymore? But. We, uh, after the Indianapolis one, which, yeah, it was a little bit difficult, uh, we got Pocono. And mysteriously, hmm, Watkins Glen's not a part of it. I wonder why. It's almost like as if the telemetry at road courses is just a horrific idea. Good for me. Glad it's not there. Unless it's on the 360 version that I'm not aware of, but it's not on here. So we don't have to worry about that, so... Let's get to the these challenges. We're going to start it off. Um, uh, go bowling.com 400. Forget about turn four and hold off Casey Kane as Brad Kozowski. Fight against your teammate as Jeff Gordon and take the five to victory lane at Pocono Raceway. Okay. Uh, pretty straightforward. Go bowling with Brad. They did not really have anything clever to say with that. Um, Casey Kane and Brad Kozowski were battling closely for the lead. From lap 88, key your history maintain Brad's lead by lap 93. So we're going to have to do five laps of this. Ew. Well, before we jump into it, uh, as always, big shout out my YouTube Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members, this boring channel, perks to get early access to videos and all that stuff, and it helps me out as a content creator and all that. So thank you, as always. I appreciate it. I'm doing thumbs up. I mean, I mean, I think I might be up and block it, but thumbs up. Um, so, yeah. Let's get into it and go from there. Hold up, Casey Cape. Okay, my lap 93. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And it's only just one car. Okay, that's... Oh, we're already leading. Okay, so... Alright, so uh, we pretty much already won this challenge then. If it's just... We're not going to pass anyone and we're just driving by ourselves. And we have to deal with a random lap car. Which will be the only hurdle to this. And I found a way. <laughs> I found a way. To choke it all away with that. That's embarrassing. That should not have been a problem, but leave it to me to make it a problem. My nose is stuffy. I, it's been like that anymore. I don't know what is wrong with me. This cold is still lingering, and it's been like almost a month. Where it's like 99% gone, but then the nasally aspect of it is still there. I don't understand that. And I didn't get around it quick enough. So after, why are these? Why? Why has this got to be a problem? He is the only car I have to worry with. And yet, here I am, making this a big project to, to clear them. There. Why did I take three attempts? There we go. Don't know why that needed to be like five laps. That, that was senseless, but hey, I cut it out, so that makes it easier. So that's good. On to the next one. Next up, Canning Cane. <laughs> There's, I like the alliteration. After a great final restart, Jeff Gordon dropped behind his teammate, Casey Kane, to take second place. Can you rewrite history and take the win from the five? Oh, yeah, this is, yeah, one of many Jeff Gordon failed restarts. Yep, I remember that. I really just mainly remember the ending just because I, I was just like, oh, I, I laughed because Gordon choked on that. It was, it, was, it was funny, so. I don't know, but we'll try. We'll try to make Gordon not be a choke artist. I don't know what that was. That was a lot of clicking. My mouse is there. God damn. Hold off Casey Kane and take the win. I will try. Okay, we're first. Yeah, that's good. Um, I mean, we're ahead of the pack, so that's a plus. I'm just going to stay in line. Okay, Newman gave me a shot. All right. And just kind of send it here in turn one. Gap the field. And then that's it. All right, well, that was... Really, really easy and simple. I, I'll take it. Another really simple, straightforward challenge. We're very low on fuel, apparently. Maybe that's true to real life. I don't know. But we did it. Got the dub. Simple. I like that. After everything I've been through, it's nice to have some easy ones. Last one up for the Pocono challenges. We got Casey Kane FTW. Someone had a good time trying to do, like, alliterations. And they they, they use internet lingo, yo. I no, I was going to read the thing. Oh, I hit A. I got so hyped with the internet lingo, I threw my hands on the controller like a freaking barbarian and I hit the A button. No, I need to read the thing. Okay, hands off the controller. Let me read it. On the final restart, Casey Kane motored around the outside of his teammate to take the lead and the win. Can you match his last two laps? I guess we'll see. 
Everything else has been pretty easy so far. We'll see if this one provides any challenge. In fact, the first one was the hardest challenge because I had to get around one lap car and I made that really hard. So I don't know. Go for the win. I mean, that's very, it's very straightforward. All right, just have to pretty much stay on the outside in the start. I'm gonna get a push from Kurt Busch. And we, we do got a ghost to aid us. He, Kurt really gave me a shot, okay. So we're just gonna stay up on the high side. And pass score just like that. <laughs> Damn. I didn't think it would be that simple, but it was. I can't, I, I can't look back. What, what, what ha, what, why is this game so weird now? Well, I don't even know what to say. I was also very low on field with that one too, the same one with Jeff Gordon. I don't know what that means, but... Alright, that was Pocono in the books. I, I'm i just so happy it was easy. It just brings joy to my heart. After Pocono, we got Michigan uh, taking advantage. I lap 33, Joey... L Joey Logan! <laughs> Joey Logan! That is... That is a typo. That is not me seeing that wrong. Joey Logan. I don't know who Joey Logan is, but I probably like him a lot more than Joey Logan, so I'll say that much. And Kurt Busch got backed up in traffic, allowing Dale Jr. to close right in, help Dale take advantage, and grab the lead. I don't know who this Joey Logan is, but I guess we'll see. He must have, I don't know, we, maybe it's some other driver I don't know of. Get ahead of Joey Logan and Kurt Busch. But the game said Joey Logan. Who is it then? Who is this mysterious 22 driver then? Lead the race by lap 35. Oh, lead the race. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see how hard it is. We'll get by uh, Joe Nemechek, Kurt Busch. Hey, it's nice to see Kurt running up here. We almost got the lead. I Probably if I nailed the corner a little bit better, it wasn't laughing at Joey Logano. Uh, name biggest name blunder of the century. I probably would have gotten the lead a lot sooner, but there we go. We got it. We're good. Nice, simple, casual L. I guess L for them. W for me. I can't. I can't look back. What? What is? Ha what is wrong with this game today? All because I back. I hit retire at, at, at the Pocono thing, and now it's just. It's just that clicking sound. That is me trying to move the camera. <laughs> that is so weird. I can't even look at the other camera angles by hitting the... That, that is just weird. I, I, I am just so perplexed. This game just does weird things. We won a challenge. One and done. I like it. It's, it's good. Next up, Harvick wins. Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano. No, no. What is... <laughs> <laughs> they misspelled the toy. Why do I say that? Joey Lug... Lugano? Lugano Ono? Joey Laguno? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Joey Logan and Joey Lugano Uno. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Who is this now? I don't know. Both ran close. With fuel at the end of the Pure Michigan 400. And why is of and the space so far apart? Who typed this? I, it was probably freaking... Those people at eugenics. Dave Martin. That son of a bitch. He always used to tweet him going out and drinking. It was probably him drunk texting. It's like a butt dial, but with the fingers. I don't know, but... He... So, something about this pack is so wrong. Can you help Harvick conserve enough fuel to finish and take the win? Alright, yeah, we'll see. This this pack has so many blunders. I what what happened that week? Did Ed did Dave, Dave Thompson whoever I don't even remember who they got extra drunk that week and like just were incapacitated or something. Something I don't know, something was wrong. Go for the win. Well that's insightful. Alright, well we got fuel mileage to worry about, which I don't ever remember this being a problem, so I can't imagine this is gonna be that hard. But I could be wrong. 
Well, it was fuel mileage in, one, uh, in real life. That's how Joey Logano actually won here. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It, it took Joey Logano until, like, 2014 to actually get a legitimate win. There is Mark Martin running out of fuel. That broke my heart in real life. We get by Joey Logan or Joey Logano Ono. I don't, I don't even know how to say that, but it's like Joey Logano and Yoko Ono, like, did the fusion dance, and that's what that name came to. It's just, just strange. I don't know. I don't understand it. But we're leading. I'm just going to drive the race like normal and see if that's enough to uh, make it on fuel. I don't know. I think fuel's going to be a problem. At least a tiny bit. I might run out maybe off turn four? I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem. I mean, I'll be shocked if it is, but I think it, we should have enough of a gap and everything to be okay. We're going to be cutting it really close though, but I, I think it'll be enough. Got a 0 0.3, just coasting in turn 3. Full throttle from here on out. We'll see if that's enough. We got a big gap on Lagan, so it shouldn't be a problem. And 0. And there, there we go, we're out of fuel. But we'll coast the line. Really no problems. They even have to try to conserve, so yeah, another classic one and done. Very simple. And we took a win from Joey L Logan. Next up is Joey to the inside. On the final restart, Joey Logano. Oh my god. Wait. It. <sighs> they spelled it right. They finally spelled it right. Made a big move on the inside to end up behind Mark Martin, which set him up for the win. Can you get one better and pass the 55 goals? What's the point? He. Mark ran out of fuel. Why? There was. They were just struggling to make challenges for this one or something because this one, why does it matter? Mark R, Mark ran out of fuel anyways, so what's the, what's the, what difference does it make? Oh, it's on the, the start, okay. Unless I somehow misread it and I was a dumbass and botched all of it. Alright, okay, thank you Menard for the push. Honestly, Kurt turning Logano might be the funniest thing ever. I'm totally fine with that. I'm not even going to be mad. That's really funny. That actually almost brings a freaking tear to my eye. Jesus Christ, car. I did not do all that. Okay, there's no Joey Logano ghost to aid me. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have problems if we're not going to have... Is it... This is it... Don't, this going to be a problem, isn't it? This game's gonna find a way to make this really freaking stupid. Alright, if the game's gonna send me to the left like that, I'm just gonna go down low then. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I guess the inside line is just the way to go. Sorry, Harvick. Um, Alright, well, we're second now. Uh, definitely in an unconventional manner, but we got it nonetheless. Now we just have to pass Mark. We'll probably do it on the outside. There we go, we're just so fast it just didn't even matter. And I have to begrudgingly get Logano a dub. It ain't, oh my god, I can move the camera finally! Wow, I could. What changed? Joey Logano is such a shithead that he changed the fabric of, the, of reality within this game to make the controls work again. It was like the yin and yang situation. I don't know. Oh, okay, we did it. I, did, I wasn't even aware. <laughs> Um, I'm going to try that again see if I don't have to lean on Harvick. Just, I, this is just to clear my conscience. I know I already, it, it just, it's just something I have to try to achieve. So I think, I think I can do it without having the need to just run into him. Never mind. All right. I, I, I'm just, all right. I, I got nothing. How did I do it that one time then? I don't know. Was that really the only way I had to have done it? It's just lean on Harvick and be a Joey Logano. Do I had to? I had to be. It was like a Logano simulator. I don't know. Cause there's no Joey Logano ghost to aid me, so I don't know unless I literally go back and watch the fucking clip. Cause you know I'm just supposed to remember exactly. How this restart happened in 2013 on lap 178 down to a science and how Logano did it. Yeah, I was just supposed to remember. I'm going to get some people telling me. The oh, just watch the freaking thing. It's like, okay. 
I feel like if I have to actually watch the stuff in order to have it like to like beat it, I feel like that defeats the purpose of a challenge. I think that's really fucking stupid. It's about the same equivalence of freaking Lucasfilm and Disney are like trying to not trying to hack me. Jeez, they're getting me notification. So I was about to make the Star Wars point of like, oh, well, the, 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 the Last Jedi is actually really good when you factor in, like, the books. It's like, the, I don't give a shit about the books. Okay. They fucked up everything. I should not have to go to outside source materials. It's like, oh, well, the wiki says this, and that makes the film... No. No. The film has to stand on its own merits and weight. I shouldn't have to go to out source, outside source material... For it, to, for it to make sense. And why can I not beat this challenge? Do I just have to just throw it in a tur- I- Well, I clearly cannot be behind Paul Menard. How the fuck- How the hell did I do with that? Was that the only way to actually beat it? Is just lean on Harbick like that? Like, did I do the right thing unconsciously? Like, I clearly can't be on the bomb because Paul Menard's there. So... What the fuck do I do? Do I- do I just somehow go up to the outside and just make all those passes? I I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. This is just dumb. Like, do I just fall back on the start? Or what is the magic? I don't know. Maybe this is or whatever I'm gonna about to do here. Cause Harvard checked up. They're gonna. I don't know. It's stupid. I I don't understand it. It drives me nuts. Cause I feel like just ramming into him to win it was just fucking cheap. That seemed to be like the only way to actually beat this. I, oh my god! So I think I figured it out, or at least understand the concept. So I get the push from Menard, lean on Harvick, and then somehow pass him that way. I don't know. The challenge was get to the inside of Harvick, but there's no way to do it other than leaning on him. Like, what? I don't understand how to fucking properly beat this. I was... Uh, is... I, I don't even know if that's even the right fucking lane. No, I'm not gonna fucking look up, look it up. That's stu- like, that def If I have to look it up to defeat- to win the challenge, then that, like, defeats the whole purpose of me even trying to beat this. I can't get to the inside of him. Paul Menard stays down low, so I can't do that. So, what the fuck? I just can't wait to be done. I can't even say I can't wait to be done because there's technically the 360 versions of this. But I can't wait to be done with this for a good while because some of this shit's just really fucking stupid. Easily the hardest challenges in any of these NASA games because the telemetry fucking is ruins it so much. And I'm so tired of bitch about it. It's just the same points... My throat, I think I probably burnt off like at least 40 years of my life off of that. And it's just, it's just nonsense. Like, was that just pure luck, how that fucking panned out? It would be really nice, especially in this challenge, to give me the fucking AI ghost. So I know what lane Logano did. Don't be picky and be like, oh, well, some races... They have it, and other ones they don't for no reason. I'm sorry, that is bullshit, and that makes no goddamn sense in any context. Is this is how he did it in real life. He just, I don't know. That seems to be like the only way to actually beat the challenge is just leaning on Harvick and just being a fucking douche about it. Is that how he did it? I don't know. How am I supposed to remember that? How am I supposed to remember that? I'm sure, yeah. Uh, does anybody remember uh, 2013? That fucking exact restart, like it's just it's so fucking stupid, man. Just give me key challenges. I don't. Oh god, I'm so tired of this. Just fuck. It's so stupid. So am I supposed to go down low, like right here? Cause it looks like Harvick is kind of giving me room. Harvick checks up here at some point, so I wonder if that's how he did it. Lagan was just basically off the racing surface. I I, I have no idea. I guess now that I beat that in almost the cleanest way I could possibly do it, I'm just got to fucking look it up and see how that was done in real life. Because I don't know. Alright, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up.
I want to see how this happened. I want to see how he did it in real life. All right, we're watching it together. We're watching. <laughs> this is how Logano did it. Yep, he went off the track. Yep, he just went completely off the track. Okay. And then that's how uh, Harvard checks up because Logano drove like a bitch boy. Okay. Okay, that, that explains it then. So I did basically... Wait, I need it. But see, he was already down to the inside. I couldn't do that. That's what it was fucking me up. Because the game immediately hooks me to a left. So I go to left. I don't have the run like he does. So that's why I'm thinking like, okay, I'm thinking in my head. I can't, he, I, he tries to go down low, doesn't make it, and I have to get behind him, and then maybe make the pass on the outside. That's what I was thinking. If the game gave me enough speed on the start to where I can get to the inside, then you know, then that makes sense, because this is, this is what fucking is throwing me off. I'm going to try it again, I'm going to show you it. Now that we've seen that, in real life, Logano is already down the inside and about to clear him. See, as soon as I do that, I'm not like I would already be side by side with them, but I'm not, and that's what threw me off. So you know what? I'm gonna blame the game for that because it actually isn't accurate to real life. Yes, it t it makes me go down low, but I don't have the speed to clear them because right now I should be underneath them and basically passing them, but I'm not. So that's why that challenge is much harder than it fucking needs to because it's not even actually accurately representing real life. Fuck you, game. Alright, I'm done. This was a very Joey Logano-centered episode with everything. The, the the misspells and everything. They got his name right there and the main thing. Alright, we're done. I'm, I got nothing more to say. What a freaking... What an episode. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters to Dave and our champ 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Kerr, and Mexican Lane 1986 for the support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It always means a lot. Always goes a long way. So thank you as always for what you guys do. It does help me out a ton, and I, I really appreciate it. Next part should, for all intents and purposes, be the finale of these challenge packs, as we'll get Atlanta and Richmond, which there's three apiece with these, so technically six more of these. And then it will be over with, at least with the 2013 game version. So it'd be nice to eventually get to that. It's been a journey. I feel like I've been doing this for like two months. It might have been. I don't know. But it's been a while. But yeah, that'll do it for me. I will see you all next episode. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.